So my E major scale is next, and as we said, the lowest E we can do, not this one, but the octave lower. So that's the open sixth string. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, and the new sharp will come on the seventh note, D sharp, and then my octave E. And if you don't understand why that is, Go back to the previous lesson. Start right with the C scale so you understand the theory behind this. So E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. So we have four sharps now in the key of E. And this becomes easier and easier to understand as you get along, hopefully, even though there are more sharps to remember. The, the way to do these is not to just try to figure out the pattern and say, oh, I've got to keep every, uh, you know, um, F sharp, every G sharp, every uh, C sharp, and so on. The way to think about it is actually to, to memorize the scale and just say E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And then hunt around and find them. So if I say E, G sharp, F sharp, A, G sharp, B, A, C sharp, B, D sharp, C sharp, E. That's the way to think about it. And if you remember, going down from a note E, that's called E flat. So it's not only D sharp, it's E flat as well. And that will be problematic in, in certain pieces of music that you call notes sharps. Or flats there's an understanding and a reason for that as well not to mention the fact we also have songs uh, you'll see a, a song will be in the key of C with no sharps or flats it could also be in the key of A minor and that'll give you a little uh, problem when you're expecting to uh, see a song with with no sharps or flats it tells you you're in the key of C well you're gonna uh, immediately think in the key of C and then when you start playing through the music going to say, wow, that doesn't sound like the key of C to me. And that's because every key has a relative minor. And if you've memorized your 1-6-2-5 chord progressions, you know the relative minor for the key of C. It's the next chord, which is A minor. That means our relative minor for G is E minor. So when a song is in the key of G, one sharp, it can also be in the key of E minor with one sharp. And that's next in the circle of fifths, the key of D has one sharp, it's are two sharps. <laughs> I can't talk and play at the same time. And its relative minor is B minor. So D has two sharps, B minor has two sharps. And if you don't know why that is, go back and, and uh, understand the the one six two five chord progressions by rote and then you'll you'll have them understood with your ear. You won't understand them theoretically yet. The reason is because we have what are called modes. And we're going to have a whole section on modes that will make all of that very easy. C is called that diatonic major scale, eight notes through the scale, is also called an Ionian mode. And we have different modes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and if you look at that Aeolian, I can't. That makes an A minor. That Aeolian shares the the key signature. That A minor shares a key signature of no sharps, because when I say that, instead of playing it an A scale and saying A B C sharp D E F sharp G sharp A, if I'm going to play an Aeolian mode. An Aeolian mode in the key of C, but an A Aeolian. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. I made it conform to the notes of the of the C major scale, even though I started in an A. So that's called my Aeolian mode. And we're going to make that very simple when we talk about it with our mode exercises. But that's why it shares the key signature. And an A minor, which has a flatted third in the scale, and that's what a minor chord does. And we're going to talk about that when we go through our chords. It's going to make a lot more sense. So uh, go on to the next, which will be the fifth of A, which will be E.